Hey kids, welcome to unit two, lesson one, variables, exercise number two. It looks like we have an investigate and modify lesson for today. Let's look at the code before we get started though. This code looks an awful lot like what I did in exercise one. And in exercise one, what did we learn? Well, we learned there are two different types of variables in Java. There are our primitive types, which are ints, which stands for integers, doubles, which are decimals, and booleans, which are true and false. And then we learned there is another type called reference type. Those are strings, and in those variables, it points to the actual location where the information is stored, not the information itself. The addition to the code looks like it has an extra couple lines here. Line 16 looks like we are printing off a dash. Line 18, it looks like we're reassigning my integer to the number 278 and then printing off that integer again. Hmm. I think we'll get the same thing printed as before. All of these numbers and words, 125, 89.3, true, hello world, and welcome to Java. Then I think we're gonna get a dash line and then my new integer will be 278. Let's see if I'm right. Looks like my prediction is true. We got that old information from exercise one. My new integer is printing off right there. Let's look at what we have to do for today. Look at how my integer variable is assigned a new line value on line 18. We're gonna assign a new value to the my double and my other string variables using the same syntax. Okay, let's handle number one first. I'm going to assign my double and my other string two new values. And let's talk about how do we declare a variable first. First, we have to tell it its data type. Then what do we name it? And then what do we store in it? When we reassign a value, we only need the name and the new value. Let's apply that thinking to redeclaring my double and my other string. My double is now going to equal 25.4. My other string is going to be equal to, well, we have to come up here first and look at our strings and how they're declared. We have two different versions. And just our string, my string, we are just setting it equal to whatever that is. In this case, hello world. In this case, declaring it as an object, we have to use the parentheses. So for this, we're going to do parentheses and let's put CSA is fun. Now we actually have to print that off. And down here is where we're going to print it, but we can take our stuff from above here and we can copy it down because we're reprinting the same thing. Now when I hit run, I should get everything from above, plus 278, 25.4, and CSA is a fun. Let's see if that works. Oh, it looks like we missed some important things, kids. Do not forget your semicolons after your statements. It's very important. All right, let's hit run and see if that fixes it. And you can see all of our new statements printed out. That means when we redeclare, we don't have to add the data type. That's an important thing to know. Number three, try changing the value assigned to the my integer variable on line 18 to a decimal value. 
what happens. Hmm. Let's go to line 18 here and make this a decibel. What do I think is going to happen is I think I'm going to get an error. Integer means whole number. And if I'm giving it a decimal, that is a big red flag for the program. So I think it's going to throw an error. Well, let's see if I am right. Looks like we're getting an error right there. Let's try that with double. Hmm, looks like double is automatically converted. That's interesting. So with integers, it needs to be a whole number. With my double, it'll actually convert itself to decimal. That's interesting to know. Try changing the value assigned to the my string variable on line seven to a number without quotation marks. What happens? What happens if you sign a number inside the quotation marks? Hmm. Let's go up to line seven here. And they want us to take away these quotes and to put a number. Let's put 25. Let's see what happens. Hmm. We get an error. Again, it is expecting quotes and something literal in the quotes. And we're not giving it that. So it's giving us an error. If I put quotes around 25, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get 25 printed on the first one. Let's see if that's true. And 25 printed. So again, the quotes are literal. Anything in the quotes will be printed off exactly like what's inside. Key takeaways, a couple key takeaways for this lesson, kids. One is how we declare a variable. Again, you need to know what the data type is, what do we name it, and then what do we store inside of it. Next, when we're redeclaring a variable, we do not need to give the data type, just a name and a new value. With strings, remember, they are expecting words and they have to be inside quotation marks. Another thing that is expecting a specific data type is integers. It has to be a whole number. If you put a decimal, you get an error. That's part of the debugging process of the compiler. Finally, remember there are two different types of variables in Java. Primitive, ints, doubles, and booleans, and reference. Those are strings. And those actually reference where the actual variable is stored. Hopefully this lesson helped you understand variables a little more, kids. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next lesson. See you later, kids. Bye, bye, bye.